There's a lot of talk about mesh networking now, and you know I'm a crazy person about networks, and I'm talking to Daniel Peck from Luma, who has a mesh networking uh, offering here that looks pretty interesting. How are you doing? Doing really good, really good. All right, so what? Uh, tell us about Luma. So Luma is a, a whole home Wi-Fi solution. We sell several nodes. Uh, we have a three-pack, a two-pack, and a one-pack. And depending on your home, you get the one that's most appropriate. For most single-family homes in the U.S., uh, a three-pack covers it very nicely. We recommend one per thousand square feet or about every floor. Uh, so, so we're all really fond of going to 192.168.1.1 on our uh, web browser. Is that how this works? Un unfortunately, no. That'll be something you'll have to give up if, if you really enjoy that. Oh, man. <laughs> so we went with kind of a mobile-first application where everything is controlled via your mobile app. We support iOS and Android. And uh, everything just happens really seamlessly and simplici simplistically uh, within the app. So uh, you were telling us earlier, we did a little bit of pre-work here, that it's over uh, Bluetooth? Yeah, all the setup is done via Bluetooth Low Energy, all the initial data connection, and it's uh, it's able to do that without even leaving the app. So uh, that's good if you've, if you've got a house that has uh, no no uh, cellular network or poor cellular network, you don't have your Wi-Fi set up, you kind of need something, the Bluetooth Low Energy is going to get you there. Yeah, Bluetooth Low Energy is going to let you set up those initial devices, and if you need access, we also, um, we also broadcast a Luma setup AP as well that allows you to go from the initial unsetup Luma to fully set it up as well if your phone doesn't support Bluetooth for whatever reason. Okay, cool. So um, I, I know some of the uh, the mesh network devices don't have Ethernet jacks on the satellite devices. So if you had wired Ethernet, you'd want to plug it in. Do you guys have Ethernet jacks on them? We do. Uh, each device. Each device has two Ethernet uh, ports. On the hub, one is a, one is used to connect to your cable modem. On the nodes, both are accessible for uh, additional devices. Oh, and okay. You, so you can run another. It's basically a, an Ethernet switch. That's right. That's right. And if you have, if you're lucky enough to have Ethernet, you know, backhaul all through your house, then it can act in wired backhaul mode as well. Yeah, I don't have that, but I dream about that, and I know some people do. Yeah. You've also got a, a USB jack on the back, we so do. you can hook up a, a, some hard drives that kind. Uh, so currently it's it's really just for a charging unit. Uh, we're looking at a few other possibilities of what that could be used for. So uh, you can charge devices through it, you mean? Yeah, you could. Uh, it, it's basically, we're, we're using up one of your wall jacks for AC. We might as well give you a USB charger along with it. Yeah, that might be more useful than a disk drive some days. So you were showing us earlier, maybe we could come in here, Steve. Um, uh, he's got a uh, an iPad Pro here. He's got a display up. I'm describing also for the audio people as well. So you can do a lot of the control from this app. Tell us about what you can see here. Yeah, you, you fully control the app. So here you have a view of the, the full home. We know where the Lumas are in the home and how they're connected to one another. You see the speed test result, the upload, download speed. Uh, you can go in and, and see any security alerts you might be having. We talked a little bit earlier about how security is kind of baked into the product from day one. So from this screen, you would see any security alerts for any devices you have. So what kind of security alerts can you see? Uh, so uh, if, if the device is connecting to say a malware command and control server. Uh, wow. We're able to see that and block it from doing further communication out. That's a really good thing. Yeah, uh, I think it is a pretty good thing. It uh, you know, hopefully helps people have a little bit less heartache. Yeah, there you go. Or at least know that they have heartache, well, which is half the battle, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, All right, now what if you've got kids in the home? So if you have kids in the home, we also have some really, really deep level of content filtering where you can set for your whole network kind of the level of content that's most applicable. If you have a lot of small kids in the house, or maybe just a kid who's prone to pick up devices uh, all around the house, you can say, my home is more of a G home, where it can only be... He's got a slider here that goes G, PG, PG, 13, R, and unrated. <laughs> Unrestricted. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so that's, that's hey, you know, I'm not interested in content filtering, and that's fine. There's some people who don't really have a need for that, um, but, you know, we want to provide the option for people who do. Okay, so what if we set our home to G, and... Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, Steve wants to go to, uh, you know, he's a wild man. He's going to go PG-13 tonight. What can you do? So, uh, users, uh, we can set profiles for each of your users, and you can assign devices to them. So, let's say in this case, you got uh, you know, this, this great little kid, Caleb, here. So, Caleb's got her iPad mini. She's normally set to a, a G rating. Say she's doing a school project, and she needs to get access to something that's really kind of a PG content. 
Well, she can get the block page in the web browser, and she'd be able to ask mom or dad, whoever the network admin for your Luma Wi-Fi system is, uh, for an override. And then she'd be able to access that content, and it could either be permanent or temporary, and say that she could get her schoolwork done or, or learn something new, and then uh, immediately be so back. What if mom's at work? Can she do it from work? Of course she can. It, it's a push notification that goes right to the app, wherever they are in the world. No. Now, uh, quality of service is important of looking at what kind of uh, data you can get through, what kind of devices have higher priority. What do you what do you have in quality of service? Yeah, so we have where you can prioritize a given device. You can also set a default device for priority, and we uh, integrate with the Amazon Alexa. So you can control that via voice. You can say, you can set a device that's gonna be my default prioritized device, say an Apple TV or maybe your laptop. You can just say to your Alexa, Alexa, tell Luma to prioritize my device. And then that device will be prioritized for the rest of the time. We also do that prioritization over the Wi-Fi itself, which a lot of people aren't doing. So we ensure that there's fairness in the airtime to make sure that they're getting the best possible Wi-Fi experience on that device. So you're doing it at the device level, but not at the level of saying, I want uh, voice over IP to have the highest priority, and then I want video streaming next, and I want you know text editing to be last. You're doing it on the device level instead? Right, yeah, that, that'd that be interesting to prioritize text editing. But, uh, I, I, well, I, I mean, guess to let that one go to the bottom. Right, right. I, I guess there might be a time where you're really, you know, worried about pushing a few K of data. I'm, I'm, I'm coding here. I'm coding, I'm coding hard. I want that on top. Need to make sure that Adam editor really, really works the best it possibly I can. I use Adam. I use Adam. There you go. So, but, but you don't do prioritization on the type of traffic. You do it on the device, type, the device itself. That's right. That's right. We do it on the device level. That's an interesting way to do it. So you could say, make all my Apple TVs at the top, so video streaming looks good and everything else goes down a little bit. Right. Right, and that only would come in when there's contention. Uh, in, a, in a normal network, if you're not pushing more than your your uplink is, then quality of service won't kick in at all. It's only when you're trying to when you're trying to pull down or push up more data than your pipe allows you to. Okay. Okay. I got it. So um, let's see. We haven't actually held one up for the camera here for the video. So let's. Uh, you want to do the two pack? Uh, yeah. Well, just just grab one of those guys here. So it's a uh, it's a hexagon. It's about an inch thick and maybe I don't know four or five inches, four inches across. Now this stands up on the table, right? It does. It does. It stands up. We have you know a pretty good industrial design aesthetic that that fits into most homes. And we have uh, several different colors. So we have white for kind of a classic look. We have a really sleek black, a nice gray and a uh, really vibrant orange that kind of goes along with our branding a little bit, but also really stands out and uh, lets you kind of show it off in your home and brag about your Wi-Fi a little bit. There you go. All right. Well, these these are pretty cool. Uh, are these on the market yet? They are. They are. We uh, we launched last June. We're on the shelf in Best Buy. Uh, you can also buy online, bestbuy.com, amazon.com. Uh, we're also on target.com and, and several other stores. And what's your price point on these? Uh, so the price point currently is $2.99 for the three-pack. And uh, I believe we're running a special right now on that as well. And the, uh, tell me what our price points are right now. Do you remember? Three pack is three ninety nine. I'm stuck in the uh, in the holiday special there. Well, let so. me also point out that we are talking to the uh, chief architect, who is who we wanted to talk to, not the guy in charge of pricing. You are absolutely forgiven that. Yeah, you exactly. got the tech details. That's what we really care about. So three ninety nine for a three pack. Three ninety nine for a three pack. Two forty nine for a two pack, and one forty nine for a single. All right, That's so right. we should just buy three. Yeah, yeah, most people should just buy three. Make sure your house is really well covered, and uh, if you end up not needing the third, you can give it to a friend. Ah, there you go. <laughs> all right, I really appreciate your time and explaining this all to us. This is fantastic. I wish you the best of luck. Sounds good. Great talking to you as oh, well. wait, how do people find your product? Uh, getluma.com. Getluma.com. Thank you. Thank you.